So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your mobile phone's hotspot and connect it to your smart TV. So this just means you can use your mobile phone's internet for your smart TV. So this is gonna be perfect if you don't have internet at home and you wanna be able to use apps on your smart TV like Netflix, YouTube, or Disney, you'll be able to use your mobile phone's internet connection on your TV. Now, one thing to note is that if you are using your mobile phone's connection, you wanna make sure you have a good data plan on your phone because streaming video on your TV is gonna chew up a lot of data. So for example, if you're watching a 60 minute Netflix TV show in 4K, it's gonna to use around seven gig of data. This can vary depending on other things. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have like an unlimited data plan on your mobile phone or just have a lot of data available. So that is just something to keep in mind. And if you don't wanna use as much data, I would recommend dropping the video settings down to 1080p, which is classed as just HD. And you'll probably only use about three gig of data per 60 minutes of video streaming. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. So I'm gonna show you the process of how to do this using an iPhone and an Android phone. So it doesn't matter what phone you use, you can follow along. And I'm also gonna be doing this using a Samsung TV, but it doesn't matter what brand your smart TV is, process is going to be very similar. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to do this with an iPhone. So you want to grab your iPhone and navigate to settings. And then in your settings, you want to come down to mobile. And in here, you just want to make sure your mobile data is turned on. And then you can go back and then we're going to go to personal hotspot. And in here, you need to set a Wi-Fi password for your personal hotspot. I've just used a really easy one for this demonstration, but I would suggest making this password a bit harder for people to guess. So to set your password, you just click in here and then type in your password. And then you want to allow others to join. So this is gonna turn on your hotspot and we wanna turn on Wi-Fi. So you can see up here, I'm on 4G. Um, yours could say 4G or 5G, just depending on what connection you have in your area. And then you can see down here under to connect using Wi-Fi, you can see it says Sam's iPhone, and that's going to be the name of my Wi-Fi connection. So just have a look here on your phone and find out what your phone's called, because you're going to need to know that when you're looking for your mobile hotspot on the TV. If you have an older smart TV and you're having trouble connecting, go back to personal hotspot and turn on maximize compatibility. This forces the hotspot to use 2.4 gigahertz, which older devices support. For newer TVs, you can leave this setting off, but if you're not sure, just try without it first. And if your TV doesn't find the hotspot, come back and turn this on. Okay, so up next, I'll show you how to turn the hotspot on a Android phone. I'm using a Samsung phone, but it doesn't really matter what brand you have, it's gonna be pretty similar. So first up, swipe down from the top of the screen, then swipe down again to see quick settings, find mobile data and make sure it's turned on. I can't actually turn it on right now because this phone doesn't have a SIM card, but you'll wanna make sure yours is on. Now open settings, then scroll down and tap connections. Next, tap on mobile hotspot and tethering, then turn on your mobile hotspot. To adjust the settings, tap mobile hotspot again. Here you'll see your phone's Wi-Fi name. For example, mine just says Android hotspot, but you can rename this to whatever you like. Below that, you'll see the password. Again, I recommend changing this to something more secure so no one else can connect to your hotspot. Now let's talk about the Wi-Fi band settings. If you have a newer TV, try using five gigahertz because it's faster. But if your TV doesn't detect your hotspot when you're on five gigahertz, try switching to 2.4 gigahertz. This works better with older TVs. Once you've done that, tap save and your hotspot is ready to go. Okay, so back over to the iPhone. So you can see that we're all turned on and then now we're gonna turn the TV on. 
So this is a Samsung Smart TV, but all you have to do is have a look on your TV remote and there's gonna be a home button similar to this. You just wanna hit the home button and that's gonna bring up a menu. Then once you've found the menu, you wanna look for settings. So here you can see in the bottom corner, we have settings and then I'm just gonna click enter on that. And then we're gonna move down in the settings to network and then across to open network settings. And then once you're in here, we wanna click wireless. So you can see down here we have Sam's iPhone. So that's the hotspot I'm using. So I'm gonna click on that. And then we're gonna put in the password from the hotspot. And then we'll go across to done. Okay, so now you can see your TV is connected to the internet. So if you do get an error here, this is when I would suggest coming into your phone settings and turning on maximum capability and trying again. Or if you're using the Android phone, I would come in here and change the band to the 2.4. But if it's connected like this for you, then you can just go okay. And then you can exit out of the settings. And then pretty much from here, we can use our smart TV just like we would. And we can, we can go over to Netflix or let's go to YouTube and test it out on a video. So you can see that it's playing back nice and smooth. And just remember if, if you do wanna save some of your data, you need to go into your app settings. So on YouTube, you'll just come across to the settings cog all the way on the end here and click enter. And then you can see the quality is on auto at 720. But if you want to save your phone's data, put it on 720 or 1080. 2160p is 4K. That's going to use the most amount of data on your phone. But if you want to save the amount of data you're using, I would recommend 1080p, which is classed as HD. Or if you really want to save, I'd go to 720p. But obviously as you drop down the resolution, the quality of the image is going to be not as good. So 1080p is a nice middle ground where the quality is still going to be nice, but it's not going to use up too much data. So once you're finished watching your TV, I would always recommend going into your phone's hotspot settings and turning your hotspot off. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.